Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are about 7.30 a.m. Sun's up there. You see the shadows are still pretty prominent here. So early. Not a cloud in the sky. It's about 65 degrees. It'll be up to about 80 today. Anyway, enough of the weather report <coughs> here in April 2016. We're looking at Foolproof Brewing Company's Backyard India Pale Ale 6% alcohol by volume from Pawtucket, Rhode Island. This was given to me by John Sharon at Zone One Beer Reviews. I don't know much about this company. Uh, they didn't say anything about when they were founded on, on the website, apparently around 2010. Guaranteed to deliver an unspoken zen with a spatula in your other hand. Okay. Uh, it's just a bunch of uh, stuff on the back about aggressively hop, your life, your beer. Um, you notice it's an interesting can design. It's sort of like that uh, gift wrap, that foil gift wrap type thing. Um, 12 ounces IBU. They don't say on the website. I did the research. Uh, there's no date, guys. Put the damn date on the damn can. So if, this could be an A+. This could be the best IPA I've ever had, and I'm going to rate it a C because it don't have the date. Um, this may be foolproof. I don't know. Um, it gets a good score on Beer Advocate with 46 ratings. A 50 out of 100 on rate beer, not good. 28 out of 100 for the style. So within the style, they really don't like it. Uh, 59 ratings, so we're only talking about just over 100, okay? And there's one video review. I've not watched it yet. I have it saved on my watch later list. That was... A little scary. I had a feeling it was going to do that because the way it went, pssst. it wasn't just a hiss. It was like a jet of air. So I'm going to lay this down and be careful. With it. It's not quite as filled as those uh, brickyard, brickyard <laughs> beers. This uh, backyard, and I'm in the backyard doing the backyard ale. Here in the backyard. Now, if you are a geek for carbonation, like if you're really pro-carbonation, you're going to love this beer in your backyard because it's so foamy. I remember the University of New Orleans had the Budweiser Homer Foamer, the Foamer Homer. Uh, if they hit off, if they hit, if University of New Orleans hit a leadoff home run at the bottom of the sixth inning, everybody in the ballpark would get a free Budweiser. I was there one time and it happened, so everybody was running over there to get their little eight ounce draft. But it wasn't. Anyway, back to this. It's very thick, as you can see, foamy, I would say slightly, slightly off white head. With the sun shining through it, it's yellow orange. With the shun, the shun signing at it, with the shun signing at it, it's like a, almost a grayish orange because I'm going to tell you why. It is full of sediment. Big tan chunks and tiny powdery tan chunks with some lazy ascending bubbles. And from that way, it, it make, when the sun's shining on it, it makes it look like gray yeast chunks. So if you're into clarity, this is not going to work. Uh, if you like the uh, chunky stuff, this could be nice for you. All right, now that is a really a whipped cream type head there. Let's go with the aroma. <clears throat> Thank you, John. Thank you, Zone One. It's uh, a little pungent, a little fruity, little like not the canned grape, canned pineapple, and stuff that I rant and rave about. But just a, 
just a slight fruitiness, a little breadiness, maybe a little sourness. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 6%, that's where you want to be with an India Pale Ale, I think. This is interesting because it's like balanced. You know, it's not like balanced, it is balanced. I'm not comparing it, I'm saying it is. There's maltiness, there's breadiness, there's a little earthiness. <laughs> um, and then there's bitterness, but it doesn't seem too high. Uh, I think if I was going in this blind, I would assume that it was an American Pale Ale, not an India Pale Ale, frankly. I'm thinking the IBUs must be around 35, maybe they're 40, I don't know, but I guess in 1986, we would have said, yeah, like, I didn't even drink beer in 86. I had drank a few Miller Lights, and that put me off of beer for 10 years. I'll tell you that story real fast. It was You could drink at 18 back then in Louisiana. and um, So I drank some Miller Lite out of a can, and I thought, ah, this is no good. It tasted hollow. It was like there was nothing to it. It was a hollow. It's hard to describe a hollow taste. And I was thinking, oh, and I didn't even finish the can. And then I didn't drink beer for almost 10 more years. It was like February 96 when I had the next beer. So from like, say, May or June 86 to February 96, no beer. And because I was thinking if beer tastes like Miller Lite, I don't want beer. So that was, that was my impression, beers like that. Like cooked oatmeal or something, just like. And then I was thinking about it. And I said, you know, remember being three, four, five years old, maybe two years old, and sipping off a beer in the backyard at barbecues or crawfish boils, and it had, it wasn't hollow, it had body, it had flavor, it had that good, not sour, but that, you know, that beer twang to it, whatever you call it, however you describe that. And that was the thing I wanted to recapture, so, and then I went to the local grocery store and I bought those my notes. I bought uh, some Miller High Life 7 ounce uh, ponies back when they were skinny pony bottles <clears throat> and I was drinking out the bottle and I said this is what the, the correct memory was. That's the way it's, it's supposed to be. So then I started the beer drinking project February 96 and no I don't drink every day because I, I, I would say I think there's at least four days since February 96 that I have not drank beer. I think it could be four, but um, so it, I'm glad I, I took that little time to try that. The mouth feels medium, kind of even high meat. Yeah, high, medium, it's yeah, yeah. Um, little chew, 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 chewy. Um, the finish is dry. It's, I mean, it's easy going. It's okay. It's relaxing. It's a nice beer. It's not wonderful. It's not outstanding. It's not anything, you know, memorable or something yet. You, you just got to run out and buy. Uh, I've been to Rhode Island. I went to Providence. I got a, a parking ticket because we wanted to go see the state capitol. I'm, I'm just parking right, right in front of the state capitol. I'm not thinking like. Perhaps you should look at the signs or whatever. I just parked there, went in. I said, huh? Ten dollar ticket. So anyway, um, nice state capital. Kind of small. Small state, small state capital, small distances. We drove around. It was fun. We liked it. I've been to 48 states. I like them all. So far, 48, 48 out of 48 positive experiences and hopefully the last two will be nice as well so this one I'll give it a for a pale ale I'm gonna say a B it's good for an India pale ale I'm gonna say 
B minus. It's barely good because it doesn't seem to fit it. Maybe what they're saying on Rapier is correct. I'm going to read some of this stuff on there and see what they say. So, oh well, you try it. Mm -hmm. So, Lazy Lay Bon Ton Relay, it's kind of good. Thank you again, John and so on. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to sunny, not so humid today, New Orleans.